I'm sure you're familiar with the automatic teller machines. These are the machines outside of banks where you uh, insert your card, press the secret access code, and you get some cash. This is the next step in that technology because uh, you don't need a machine at all. All you need is the special cards to get the cash. See, that's because the special secret circuitry is built right inside the card so that any time, anywhere, you can get money. <laughs> now think about this. This is likely to totally revolutionize the entire banking industry because you may never actually have to set foot in a bank again. All you have to do is have these cards to perform a variety of transactions. For instance, for instance you could uh, make a deposit. <laughs> or you could make a withdrawal. In fact, in fact, you could even perform complex transactions, such as transferring money from one account. All without leaving the comfort of your very own homes. It's called the Magic Cash system. Oh, I should tell you, there's also an option, overdraft protection, that ensures there's enough money in all accounts at all times. Actually, this particular object is very magical, at least to me. Because when I was a kid, there was nothing more magical than these. Soap bubbles. So beautiful. Shining in the light. But I'd always wish that you could actually catch a bubble and keep it in a more permanent fashion. Now, imagine, if you will, that you can take this one step further. For instance, by adding another element. something you don't see every day. <laughs> well, maybe you do. <laughs> oh, there's one other thing that I need. Hang on a second. I want to try uh, something uh, that's synergistic. You know what synergism is? That's where you combine two or more objects to create something bigger than the sum of the parts. Do me a favor, if you would, Laurie. Take the cap off that little bottle and just uh, pour the contents. Just pull it off. Very good. And just pour it right inside the there. Thing? Yes, please. That's enough, actually. Very good. Now we have some salt in a test tube. Now, to all intents and purposes, it doesn't seem to be terribly exciting until you add another element, <sighs> a little heat. That enables me to seal the end of the test tube off. By adding just a little bit more heat, <sighs> we manage to twist and turn the glass, transforming it into a more usable object, a more familiar object, an object that tells us that this effect has reached its timely conclusion. <laughs> Now, the Black Queen and the Black King also had a party to which they invited Alice. At this party, they were not serving a beverage in a bottle. Instead, they were serving a currant cake. Written in currants on top of the cake were two words. Do you know what they said? Eat me. Yeah, they usually get that one. <laughs> Strange thing happened when she ate the currant cake because she didn't start to shrink. No, no, no. Instead, she started to grow. So much so that her arms and legs protruded through the windows and doors, her head through the chimney. Needless to say, this perturbed little Alice. But fortunately for her, the effects of the current cake were also short-lasting, and she soon returned to her normal size. Now, I'm going to thread the ring through the rope, and I think you'll have to agree that that ring is solidly placed there on the rope. There's no way to get that off that rope, is there? Well, yeah, you could pull it off at one of the ends. But to get off the, out of the middle, it would take one of two things, <laughs> a pair of sharp scissors or real magic. We'll go with the latter. What I'd like you to do, if you would please, Laurie, is hang on to this end, hold on it nice and tight. Mike, do the same with this end over here. Now all I have to do is rub the ring on the rope. Rubbing creates friction, friction creates heat. Heat causes metals to melt. In fact, it'll melt right off the center of the rope, but don't worry, it forms back into its original shape. You can let go now, unless it gives you a thrill. <laughs> I'll do that one more time, just a little bit slower for you people that are just a little bit slower. Okay. And thread the ring on the rope, or the rope on the ring. See, it's right on the center of the rope. All I have to do is give it a little twist, a turn, and a tug and it penetrates right through the center of the rope. Now remember when you were a kid, you were learning to tie your shoelaces. The hard part was not actually learning to tie your shoelaces, but learning to untie your shoelaces. Because sometimes you get an end through a loop, or a loop through an end. An end through an end, or a loop through a loop. It made a jumbled mess that looked like this. Now I decided when I became a big magician, I would use my powers for good and not for evil. And by doing so, learn to cause these problems to just disappear. So if you would again assume the position, all I have to do is give it a little rub and a little squeeze, cause the knot to actually disappear from the center of the rope, allowing the ring to penetrate right off the... Uh, get out of the ring, Mike, please. 
Lori has such an honest face, I, uh, you don't. Uh, Dave, would you like to see another card trick? I got a great one here. You're really going to love this. No, actually, you see that card case that's been sitting there the entire time. Mike, I haven't gone anywhere near it, have I? Absolutely not. But look, listen. There's something inside. Okay? Would you hold out your hands, please, because I want you to act as Dave's representative. Inside of the card case, actually spilling out from the card case, is a piece of silver with some jewels in it. And it looks surprisingly like Dave's ring. Would you please return that to him with my compliments? Thank you, Dave. <laughs>